Okay, I think we are live now. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I'm so glad once again um, to be on this live broadcast with all of our audience and the all of the world. And first of all, before we proceed, I will just wish that uh, the message of God will reign in the life of everyone that is hearing us and that the peace of God will also reign in their lives, especially those that are in the regions where the current epidemic um, virus is um, afflicting them. I pray that the salvation of Christ will be revealed in their lives. And today, uh, welcome once again to another edition of Power in the World. And I think this marks the episode six of this broadcast. Um, with me here once again is Apostle David Oluapeme. Um, for those who does not know, is a presiding apostle of the Powerhouse Ministries and Apostles Missions. And um, for a while we have been having this broadcast, and the Lord has been faithful. The Lord has been faithful, is it not, Apostle? Yes. I would just want to appreciate God for what He's been doing through this program. If you have testimonies to share with us, please don't hold back. It's a source of motivation, encouragement to us. You have been blessed by the prophecies that have been given by the Holy Spirit through the Apostle, or the, the, the Word of God that we've been sharing here have been blessing you one way or another. Your spiritual life have improved in one way or another, or you want us to um, join you in prayer towards um, a revival you are expecting that the Lord will death in your life, we encourage you to send us messages and don't hesitate to put forward your request in the form of a private message. It's going to be um, discreet and confidential. And we trust God, but just like he had been doing in the lives of many people, we trusted this ministry and the God of this ministry, which is our Lord Jesus Christ whom we serve, it will also be evident in your lives in Jesus' name. So today we'll be moving on on the same subject we've been looking at for a while, which is the mind of God towards the churches. Towards the churches. And we have concluded the first um, four letters. Um, let me see. To, four, to the first um, four churches, talking about the church church at Ephesus, um, the church in Smyrna, the church in Pergamum, um, the church in Thyatira. Those are the first four churches. Mm -hmm. And I think today we'll be moving on to chapter three of the book of Revelation. And we'll be looking at the letter that our Lord Jesus Christ sent through his apostle to the church in Sardis. So, um, Apostle, I think we can go ahead, sir, from here. Let us pray. Okay, sir. Because we don't have power of our own. Yes, sir. Holy Spirit is our power. Yes, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord Jesus. The Kapu Kaya Masandakaya. That person that is having a chronic diseases and sicknesses in your body. Holy Spirit. Receive healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Divine opportunity that that person is expecting, you have been struggling to get it, and you, you it, it, it seems difficult. Receive it in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Open the heaven of this program today, O Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you because you are God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you because you are King of Kings. Thank you, Lord. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the thank Asian of the day. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Someone you have been watching this telecast, you need to repent. Hmm. But you are uh, making, adding your art. I pray all those forces that is struggling with your salvation, let them release you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Open your heart for the Lord Jesus to enter. Lord Jesus, enter in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, forgive all our sins today. Have mercy upon us. 
Anywhere we are seen against you, Lord, have mercy. Amen. We soak ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. All the people that have been following us with this word of life, I pray, a divine opportunity, located in the name of Amen. Jesus. Every appearance of devil in the hair, in the firmament, on the earth, in the water, in the sea, I burn them in the name of Jesus. Amen. That they have your way. Amen. Bless us, O Lord. Amen. We don't have anything to say. Holy Spirit, come and speak to your people. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, so I think we should continue. If you are, like um, I used to say, whether you're watching now or you'll be watching after that we have finished the live session, for the words of prophecies that have been released, God's word does not have boundaries of time or space. If you are watching now or later, and it happens to be your case as well, I encourage you to respond in faith. And the power of the Holy Spirit that has revealed that information will bring it to pass in your life. In Jesus' name, amen. So, Apostle, I think we can proceed We're looking at to chapter 3. The church in Sardis, yes. chapter 3. You can read. Okay. To the angel of the church in Sardis, write the following. Yes. This is the solemn pronouncement. No, I want oh, okay. Jesus. Sorry, sorry. Please, I want Jesus. Okay, and unto the angel of the church in Sardis, write. Yes. This thing saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, yes. that thou hast a name that thou livest, and art dead. At dead, yes. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain, yes. that are ready to die. Yes. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Yes. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Yes. Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, yes. which have not defiled their garments. Garment. They shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Yes. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. Yes. And I will blot out his name. I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. Yes. But I will confess his name before my father mm. and before his angels. Mm. He that heard and hear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. So the Lord is talking to the churches in Sardis. Don't forget that these churches that we are looking at in the book of Revelation, all the churches that we have on the earth now, one way or the other, they will be uh, in the category of one of them, one of the churches. Yes. And this is the end time where devil is fighting against Jesus and his people directly. According to the word of that man, he said 96 percentage of churches and ministers of God we have now, they are demonic. They only four percent. They are the one they are truly calling on God. So the Lord, we have all the churches around. The church we are going to cannot be more than all these churches. And neither can be worse than all these churches. The essence of this preaching, this word of life, is for us, the geos that are watching the telecasts, don't adding your heart. Just the door of repentance is open. Repent so that you can be saved. So the Lord is telling them that the, the churches uh, that is known as Sardis Church, they, from the beginning of their, you can see that it's from the beginning, they started well. But later, although there are some people there, that is that is hold on on the truth even unto death mm, well yes. because of the trial or problem that is coming on their way they begin to do what they blend are you getting it they change in their position they begin to manipulate 
the word of God and go against God. And the Lord is, what the Lord is saying there, repent. All of the other churches, repent. Yes, yes. That word, repent, is common to the Lord oh. Jesus. God don't want the death of any sinner. But he wants all of us to come to repentance. So, some people, they will be feeling somehow because there's a place we talk about uh, yearning, shame, all this thing. I know so many people, they don't like to hear all these kind of things. Mm -hmm. It's the truth. If I told somebody, I said, if I have a boss, absolutely I don't know all the want of that boss for me. It's like, then somebody now came and said, ah, you don't know your guy? Your guy said, if you do this, you will cast into what? Into air. You come back. Okay. Your guy said, somebody another person now came your guy said, this one does not mean. I told that person, I said, a wise person, he will go and do that thing. And somebody told him that if you do it, or God will, what, will cast into air. He will go and keep that in. He, he will ignore that person that said he does not mean. Because that person that said he does not mean, if your God said, or God, or God said does not mean, you know that he will harm you. No, but no if, loss. No loss. Then if your God come, he now found to be, you now got to know that that thing is very, very crucial to the other. Then they will cast into the out of darkness. So, so what if some people will say that uh, this is things we're supposed to do to 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 be uh, to enter heaven. Don't put on yearning, don't put on shame, don't wear trust, don't wear proper. Is even if I were you, I would have kept it. For heaven's sake, not for my for those people's sake. And people that said you ignore it. I will not mind those people because what of you if that thing now become truth, how am I going to reverse it? To do what? To, to be safe than sorry. To be safe than sorry. I don't know you. I say it's my pastor that told me. He said, no, no, no. Someone told you where he had it. So not only that, everything that we can do, apart from the one they preach, apart from what we heard in the word of God, that we can do that, that we know that if we are doing this thing, it's good. It will take, bring us closer to God. To God. We need to do it. We need to be doing the, all those things that will bring us to God. Apart from the world, because we have a lot of agita in the church now. Some church say this lifestyle, some church say this lifestyle, some church say this lifestyle. If I were you, I would rather keep all of them because all of them, they are what? They are good. I will not say, I will not. I will not except for false doctrine. Except for false doctrine. I will not I would rather not say this one. Let me ignore it. Because the one you want to ignore, those good as they ask you to ignore it. Are they see Christ? Are they being evil? Are you getting leave the battle? <laughs> so far, what happens is telling you that it's good. You better begin to do it because. Heaven is not a place you must miss. You must not miss it. So everything possible. Somebody want to write down. After they, are, they have given him the scheme of work. It's really long. A wise person. Before the jam even approach, you begin to look into all those things, try to be solving them one after the other. But a foolish person, you have, you have done that in the past. You say, this one cannot come out. Let me focus on this one. This one cannot come out. <laughs> what if we do that? Skeletal reading. Yes. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, all the one you read is none of them. The, the, the examiner did not send any one of them. What happened? They're in trouble. He's in trouble. That is how the kingdom of God is in us. We need to follow the principle that the Bible has laid down. On this message I'm saying I'm not condemning anybody. Who am I to condemn? <laughs> Me too, I'm struggling to enter the end. 
But what we know that we can do according to the commandment, that's what we are doing. So the Lord was saying, repent, repent. That if they repent before the rapture come, or before death, take over your life. It will be easy. Then that person will have what? We have a crown of life. He that overcome it, the same shall be clothed in white garment. And I will not plot out his name out of the book of life. This is the end time that we need to be serious. Those that will not overcome, their name will be plotted out of the book of life. The danger part of it, so we are already suffering on this earth now for Christ. If you not die again and end up in a fire, it's a double disaster. Lord no, bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go chapter first seven. Okay. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, mm. write, These things said he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shut, shut it. Down. Yes. And shut it, no man openeth. I know thy works. Yes. Behold. I have said before thee an open door. An open door. And no man can shut can it. Shut it. But thou hast a little strength. A little strength. And has kept my word. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thou has a little strength. This, this is the first church. And we have what? A good accommodation. That have, with that little strength you have, they are striving. Follow the truth. And he said, Thou hast kept my word. The word of God. They kept everything the word of God. Don't follow, don't join people that will stamp the word of God. This one does not matter. This one does not matter. This one is Old Testament. This one is this. You know what I said? He, he has not came to abolish the law, to read the law. And he divided the law into two. He said, Love your God with all your heart. Why not love your God with all your heart? You deny yourself of many things. Of because, many things. Because of Him. Because of Him. Let it be number one on your list. Sacrifice any other thing that I want to contain. Yes. It's place. If, with his place. If it's clothes, now you love more. That because of clothes, you can even go and steal. He say, abandon clothes. If it's woman, abandon it. If it's business, that is dragging you away from God, abandon it. Your wife. Your wife, your children, your, abandon it. Yourself. yourself, abandon it. It yourself. If it's worthiness, abandon it. Everything. See, abandon it because of me and follow me. And the second law is love yourself as your neighbor. Love your neighbor. As yourself. Jesus you know, has never said that you not keep the word of God. <laughs> and the one you want to talk about, want to change, you change it. You talk about it. One man, one woman. Abby, one wife, one, one husband. You are afraid that two for twos. Does anybody <laughs> do you evil? Do the person back? Are you getting this? Is the other pay what? Pay good with evil. And, and pay evil with good. Pay, ah, sorry. Evil with uh, good. Pay evil, evil with, with good, 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 rather. rather yes. Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. So that is it. Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. So these are the laws the rest i did not talk about the law of moses we need to keep all of them intact he did not talk about all those ones it means that they are what they are in intact and we need to keep them yes he said i know that work yes can continue okay um, i know dog. thy works yes behold behold i have said before thee yes an open door. An open door. And no man can shut it. No man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength. Yes. And has kept my word. And I kept my word. And I have not denied my name. My name. Behold. Behold. I will make them of the synagogue. Amen. Of yes. You have a little strength. What is the meaning of a little strength? There's no food. There's no money. Person is suffering. Agony. Business is not moving forward. Everything is outside down. That is what it's all about. You. But still, yet that person find a means to keep the word of God. They remain committed. 
as all those Spanish churches now that are doing all those things, what, what is the reason? There's no money, there's no food. Are we going to suffer like this forever? Because of that, they went to go and be collecting something from sham, collecting this one, dirty human being. Because of what? Enjoyment, creation of the world. But this church, I pray our church will be part of this church in Jesus' name. Amen. Our life as individual will be part of this church in Jesus' name. Amen. They have little strength in so many ways. They keep the word of God. And they are bowed with God. And they are following God. My viewer, I encourage you to follow God. That situation you are passing through, commit it to God. And follow God, and God will save you. Don't say because of there's no food. There's no good husband. There's no good wife. There's no money. He now went to go and join people, evil doer, and turn a, a, a great cry. So some people now they are going from one place to the other, carry uh blackboard, saying reject Jesus, we reject Jesus. What causes is frustration, is problem. They not think that there's no Jesus again. So we say fall for Satan because Satan give the sharp, sharp word blessing, destructive blessing at the expenses of what of their soul. Don't sell your soul because of money don't sell your soul because of house don't sell your soul because of uh, worldly materials don't go and be serving idol because you want to enrich yourself some people on the internet they want to go and see one baba in the village they are doing a lot of issues some people are doing testimony on the internet that is ah that baba did it for me i become a millionaire they are even campaign on it that is the world we find ourselves they are said they are they have sold their what they are sold at the expenses of car house be the part of this church yes i want to finish this particular place okay thank you this is we should not watch it we should not watch it okay. lord bless us in jesus name next week we'll finish the part of this church philadelphia church. and we'll now look at the last church which is Laos, uh, Laos this year. Laos this year, yes. Okay. Yes, so, I, so I want just to work with God and abandon the world. Uh, but because of God, we start another series of topics that need to do with singles and marriage uh, couples. Married couples. Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Tell your neighbor, tell your friends to be watching this telecast. The Lord bless us. Okay, um, thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining this particular episode, including everyone that will watch afterwards. Most importantly, all that the servant of God is saying is what our Lord Jesus Christ gave as a message to his disciples before he left. He gave them a message, and that was the gospel of repentance. Mm -hmm. He said that the kingdom of God is here. And that people should repent, repent from all forms of ungodliness and turn to godliness. Now, there's also a challenge, uh, sorry, Apostle, I will observe that people are going through. There are people in the body of Christ that genuinely want to repent, you know, from their sins, but they are trapped. You know, people make decisions today and say that I, 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 next year, you know, every new year, people make what is called new resolution. Mm. We got the checklist of the simple things they used to do in the past, and they say, This year I will stop. But you know, what we find out is that they try for like a few days, and then afterwards, there is this lack of ability to stop. Mm. You know, how do you cancel this kind of people who really want to leave their sin, but it's like they are, they are. The sin is more, the demons attached to the sin yeah, is more powerful. Trapped. They are trapped in it, so to speak, and they are not able to discontinue from their sins. Many of these people go to church as well. You know, they hear these things. But how do, how, how is it that such people can deal with such bondage? I can give them two they options. Trapped. They are trapped in it. The first option is this, that you will go for deliverance. Because any sin that you are addicted to, there's one demon. One spirit actually what backing that sin. Mm. If you cannot go for deliverance, many people thought that maybe deliverance is meant for only witchcraft, familiar spirit. No, 
deliverance for so many reasons. Then you cannot go for deliverance, cultivate the habit of fasting. And each time you fast, you mention that particular sin. I'm fasting because of this thing. God, shake the split out of me. Okay. Personal, deliverance. Personal deliverance. So it means that the authority to, you know, cast out the demons is also in their hands. Yes. So the weapon of Through prayer the is Jesus. there. Yes. The weapon of prayer is there yes. Yes. as an instrument for us yes. as God's children. Yes. There's and no the, addiction. The, the, the work, work of fasting is this. Fasting will subdue that sin, that, that demon. Make that demon paralyzed. To the point that when you pray, when you pray, you weak. will quickly work out of you. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, the weapon of prayer is there because, you know, Apostle, there are also, like we have said, there are many demonic churches everywhere. Mm -hmm. People want to go for deliverance, and before you know, they've entered into another trap and that's right, of yes, a false yes. prophet. Yes. You know, the weapon of prayer is available, and I think the Lord Jesus is the best person we should take it to. Yeah. In the face of praying and fasting, mm -hmm. if we are really genuine in our hearts concerning these weaknesses, these sinful things we want to abandon, it is not going to be by personal decision. Yes, yes. It's going to be by the power of the Holy Spirit yes, yes. and by our reliance on the ability of Christ to help us overcome sin. Yes. But the Bible says that He is the one that is going to help us overcome sin, not by ourselves, not by power. So, you know, to that end, for those kind of people, and just like one of God have said, let us take it to the Lord in place of prayer and focus on it as a subject, not, you know, praying confused prayers to go. Yeah, exactly. And the Lord you have, faithfully you have will, will dominion over that. You have dominion over that. That's why we should pray for the Chinas, the people that. The Chinese people. Okay. Yes. Let us stretch our hand to the telecast. Okay. We are going to pray. What's the name of that? Uh, it's called uh, the name of the disease is actually coronavirus, but they've given it a name. WHO gave it a name called COVID 19. But the, the raw name is coronavirus. That is that coronavirus. Yes, we're going to pray. The Bible says the Lord has given us authority. Anything we ban, we be banned in heaven. You spirit of corona, what is it? Corona coronavirus in China. By the power in the name of Jesus, command you to pack your load and leave that place in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's say pray for their sin. Hmm. Whatever the sin they have committed in China, I've not been there before, but what I'm hearing is that they are swimming in sin and idolatry. You know more about it. I mean, yes, I do. So, uh, they are even afflicting churches. Yes. They are shutting out churches mm -hmm. and persecuting the saints. Okay. That is the reason why all those things come to them. Mm -hmm. Those that kind of could not find out. You cannot operate in Nigeria. I said before, you cannot operate in Nigeria because of the saints. God will not allow such a thing to happen. There is a power of God that arrests all those forces like that. So I decree. Lord, forgive them. Amen. Have mercy on, on them. Amen. Teach them. You have the you, uh, uh, devil that are savvy are be teaching the lesson. It's not my God. <laughs> it's devil that is teaching the lesson. Lord, you have mercy on them. Amen. Forgive all their sins. Amen. Father, do so in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are going to have me to pray for them. I don't know about that. Corona, I don't know that. I'll be hearing people saying it. I don't know if you have interest in it, but I decree in the name of Jesus, everywhere here, blue, Abi. Yes. Every there's everywhere, every the way, wind, the wind, the travels wind around travel the around the world, everywhere. You, the winds, is winds of God. I release you to China. Go and capture that spirit beyond us sicknesses and diseases that is afflicting them and take it to the bottomless pit of hell in the name of jesus Amen. his wings go Amen. go Amen. go Amen. go Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. very soon we hear a good testimony that this thing has as as 
uh, the, the, the power of God has conquered for them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak to the ear. Go and capture all those spirits that are behind these spirits, these sicknesses and diseases, and take them to the bottomless of the pit. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Blood of Jesus drop in China. Amen. Have Amen. mercy on them. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Somebody is watching us. The woman, he wants uh, uh, fruit of the womb. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. The person have not been watching the telecast or later. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. So uh, this is to um, ask the president of China, um, President Xi Jinping. I think I think that's his name. I am not so good at pronouncing Chinese words. To um, repent from persecuting the body of Christ. Of Christ. And because that is the that is the key to um, receiving prophetic prayers like this and receiving answers to Otherwise, it, all of them will speedily. die. Exactly. So uh, we 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 implore the president of China to stand against the persecution of the body of Christ and allow the gospel of Christ to be preached all across the regions of China without hindrance, because that is the word of the Lord. And it cannot be far from that. May the peace of God come upon China. And as you repent, God will confirm his word with signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, God bless you all. And we'll see you um, once more at one, uh, next time in two weeks' time from now, where we'll be, by God's grace, concluding this series on the mind of God towards the mm -hmm. churches. They will come your way again. May God bless you and cause his word that we have spoken to be fruitful in all of our lives. In Jesus' name, mm -hmm. amen.